Good morning, YouTube. Today we're doing another Saturday morning sourcing. So uh, it's a chilly day here in Austin, about 43 degrees. So everybody's freaking out. Uh, hopefully everybody stays in this morning. Not me though. I'm gonna go out and look for the deals and uh, we're gonna go shoe hunting. So the plan today is to go to the outlets. I probably won't get a lot of footage at the outlets because I kinda get in the zone and use my phone there a lot so I can't really record too much but afterwards we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, thrift stores as well as a Marshalls probably today um, I do have a few listings to do when I get home it's mostly just personal stuff that I just need to uh, kind of get out of the apartment to make more space for inventory but uh, that's the plan today we're gonna go ahead and go to a Goodwill just north of, uh, north of me, uh, and we'll start the day there. It's approximately gonna be nine o'clock, so we're just gonna go ahead and poke our head in to see what we find. All right, guys, it's pretty windy out here, but here's stop number one, Goodwill. Remember the hats, found a Yeti cooler hat, so we'll look up that. And I already have one of these, so we'll double check though. And we got all these shoes. Go ahead and go through them. There's a good brand, Sass. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show the comps. What do you think that is real? Look legit. I saw these and got excited. Then look at that bubble. What were they doing with these things? Did they put them in the microwave? Jeez. Go ahead and check the comps on these, as well as these, look at these vintage cross trainers. And then we found another pair of SAS shoes, so. I don't know, they're kind of damaged and dirty. I think we should leave these behind. I think they're $14.99. Shout out to Bonafide Hustler with the uh, biking shoes. There you go, bro. $9.99. Would you pick up? Let me know. Another thing I thought was pretty cool was these old school Air Maxes right here. Got that old school tag in there too. You can see it. But uh, comps weren't too great, so I'll just leave those. So while checking out those Jordans, they were not $3.99. The camera's all over my face. Uh, too good to be true. They were actually $12.99. And price, um, not worth it, Goodwill. Come on, those things were filthy. So I just went with the SAS shoes. Those were reasonably priced. Um, sticking to really making a minimum of 20 bucks an item. It's kind of my strategy right now on eBay. It's been working out as far as for the new shoes and used shoes. Uh, I don't sell as many things as I normally would uh, doing volume, but with the price bump and just sourcing smarter and being patient, I am uh, netting more weekly. So uh, that's the big difference. So now it's starting to drizzle heading to the outlets that are about a couple of exits away. So let me go ahead and put the phone away and uh, I'll see you guys there. Hey guys, you're probably wondering why the change of scenery. While I was out there, I came across a ton of deals at the outlets. Um, I know I really don't have any footage of that, but we can go over what I found long oh, Let's get that light out of there and um, Yeah, I got to the point where I kind of was breaking into that PayPal reserve where I like to be uh, Decided to cut Marshalls and the Salvation Army out of the trip But let's go ahead and flip the camera around and I'll uh, go ahead and do a quick review uh, with what we picked up so this is the overall haul, about 34 to 36 pairs. 
I am a big fan of multiple quantity listings, as you can tell, you couldn't tell. Uh, for those of you all who are not familiar, a multiple quantity listing is when you list something on eBay, but you have more than one of. So uh, I do like that because uh, if an item makes you, you know, like say 10 bucks, that's not a great, too great of a listing. But if you have 10 of those items, that technically is a $100 listing. Uh, although I have been changing my eBay strategy to at least get a minimum of 20, uh, 20 bucks per item. I've been super picky on the, uh, the stuff I picked up. But we can just do a quick review. So these are the Vans uh, collab with Marvel. Actually, I'm a fan of these. I think these are going to be for my collection. Um, Spider-Man's as well. Now for the Nikes, nothing too crazy. Just mostly runners. Uh, there was one pair of Jordans there. And I think these Air Force uh, One kids were about 17 bucks. So nothing too crazy as far as comps. But it is going to hit that uh, $20 minimum that I'm looking for. As well as a uh, 4 uh, four, four piece of uh, Adidas Alpha Bounces that I got at a really good deal as well. I think less than twenty bucks, but uh, you know you really have to just be out there and, and look for those deals in order to uh, you know seize on them. So I know that video was not supposed to go this way, but uh, I think next week I'm gonna go ahead and actually place a day where I don't even touch the outlets because when I go out there I just get kind of one track mind forget about the videos and uh, then we end up here right so anyways next time I'll go ahead and just dedicate a day to uh, probably either uh, you know box stores like Marshall's Ross's and Burlington's or just all thrift stores and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try that out and see uh, see how it goes here on YouTube uh, if you guys like that idea feel free to leave a comment and uh, give the video a like and I'll see you all next time